What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we got to learn just a little bit more about the history of Galar. Apparently there was two heroes, two kings, and all that stuff, and well, the darkest days, not the darkest nights. Yeah, all that stuff, but yeah, and in our last episode too, we got to evolve Blitzkrieg into its low-key form. Look at that. He's looking down on you. This is actually a good change for our team right here because in the, the other uh, iteration of this walkthrough, we had the high key form. So that is uh, that is pretty awesome right there. So uh, let's see. Now we have to actually go straight to Route 6 because we got business to take care of right here. We have to go to Stow Inside now. And, well, we're going to be crossing this uh, bridge right here. And bam. Head to Stow Inside next. Okay. All righty. Look at that, that's our smiley face right there. And here we are in Route 6. And, uh, well, let's see. I feel a disturbance in the force. I kind of feel that. Because if this is all empty, somebody's coming to follow me. Somebody. I want to know who, though. And, uh, huh. What is that? What a cute silly cobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. I think it's asleep. It's our duty as Team Yellow to make sure Silly Cobra gets a nice peaceful sleep. Okay. Hello there. If I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course. It'd be all a pleasure. Okay, so these guys are a little too nice for a criminal syndicate. You know, quote unquote criminal syndicate right here. Oh, this guy. Oh. <laughs> You got mollywop, homeboy. You got beaten. You got beaten by a guy who wears pink. Literal pink. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. He proved without a shadow of a doubt that when you take a piss on a urinal, it sounds feminine. So, <laughs> Anywho. Oh, hey, Draven. You're heading to Stow Inside, right? Kinda. Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you, you'll let us through. Nah, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. And we're particularly not fun of kids wearing the challenge band. With all your stomping around, Silly uh, Cobra is sure to wake up. Right. What do you say, Draven? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge at Stow Inside. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, okay, I gotta keep a straight face right here. Oh my god, my hate for Hop is everlasting. I wish, you know, Pokemon game, I could just, like, tell my rival who's as obnoxious as this guy and just tell him, look, I'll handle this, sit down in the sidelines, and watch a real master do this. But no, we're the hero, we're supposed to be all nice and all that stuff, so, yeah, I'll battle him. You? Yeah, that's the spirit. <laughs> you two are way too noisy. You don't want to uh, wake up Silly Cobra now, do you? Uh, I swear to you kids these days. Well, well, we've got no choice. We have to spare, send you a pack in, and it's all in the sake of Silly Cobra. Okay, so it is a uh, team yell against me. Just me. Only me, because, well. <laughs> oh my god. Hop, you are an embarrassment. You really are. You need to retire already. Anywho, let's go right ahead and use our newest Pokemon right here, Blitzkrieg, with a spark attack. Finally, something worthwhile right here. And, well, there's that Aftermath move, so just be aware of uh, any Stunky they have, or any Pokemon that have Aftermath, because uh, that could hit you. And Dreepzilla grows to level 8. Yes. And Linoon, Linoon. So let's go right ahead and go with a Bex right here. Yes, we are about to uh, mess around right here. I did hear that Lanoon, you can actually evolve it in nighttime at level 35 to Obstagoon, so that's kind of the goal right there. But before we do any of that, let's go ahead and use a double kick, and here comes a baby doll eyes. Seriously, man. You're going to lower our stats right here. Our attack has fallen, but here comes the double kick, probably hitting this Pokemon the same amount. And, uh, well, that actually worked. Huh. It worked out well. Look at that. Okay, super effective. And, well, Dreepzilla grows to level 11. Okay, alrighty. So, Team Yelgrunt is not so happy. He's like, blimey, even, uh, even your battles are too noisy. Well, 
again, for a criminal syndicate, you guys are not really much of a, t a criminal. Think I'll leave this to you, Draven. Keep up the pace. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, this is the ultimate belittling of Hop. I'm showing him. Sit on the sidelines, homeboy. Sit on the sidelines and just watch a real master at work. That's right. Oh, man. I may sound obnoxious right now, but yes, I, you know... Okay, besides Barry, they literally made this guy hop very, very, uh, very, uh, well, too full of himself, or obnoxious as, as it is. Too obnoxious, thinking that he can actually win, but not acknowledging the fact that he, he, he lost to us quite a few times. I'm just saying. I really am. And, well, here comes a poison jab attack again for Leopard. And, uh, yes... That's how you do it. And Dreamzilla grows to level 13 and Beck's level level 32 or 34, I should say. And ugh, why'd you uh, why'd you ha why'd you have to be such a bother? Hmm. Okay. We are a bother because we are Pokemon League champions. Silly Cobra might wake up after all that ruckus. Then there's no point of us sticking around. Let us get out of here. We'll make these uh, bothersome kids holler some other day. Uh, deuces. And Hop right here. <laughs> Hop's like, Draven, you and Toxicity were brilliant together. Hmm. See, Bead really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. <laughs> he really didn't wipe the floor with you. He molly whopped you. He made you squeal like a little piggy. That's what he made you do. Oh my god, this is hilarious. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. No, you can't, man, because you obviously ignore the losses you've taken from me. Battling means you've got to lose sometimes. Well, not for me, because I've never lost in this game, so, uh, suck it. But he said that I was, uh, dragging Lee's good name through the through the mud, being such, uh, so rubbish like I was. Well, he's not wrong, because you kind of are coping or coaxing off his, uh, coattails right there. You need to make your own legacy, homeboy. And I just can't get, uh, get those words out of my head. Yeah, he's living rent-free in your head right now. That's pretty hilarious. If I'm weak, then people think Lee's weak, too. No, not really. We're just thinking you're weak because Lee, you know, he's a champ for a reason. And you're not. Again, you're you're kind of uh, living off his coattails right there. So, yeah. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's an unbeatable champion. I'm going to have to take some serious time or some time figuring this out. See you around, Draven. I'm uh, th throwing the middle finger at you. Don't really care about you, man. Just note that you're going to lose pretty soon here again. <laughs> Anywho, uh, Silly Cobra's waking up and uh, saying, uh, yeah, I'm going to go eat that kid right there. See ya. You're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Well, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so that is Opal right there. My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. And just like that, we got ourselves a Pokemon League card, which is great. And I'll keep an eye out for you, child. I want to see what you can do, uh, what you can do when you go all out. And well, you know, she's walking steadily, steadily. Uh, I like her big old babushka right there. That's pretty nice. Um, okay. Um, all right. So let's see. I'm pretty, uh, pretty cool right here. And well. Let us move on. We're going to go to Stow Inside, and yes, we're going to be seeing another trainer right here. So before we battle this trainer, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. We kind of need to use some different Pokemon here. Let's go with Shadow Blade. Okay, Shadow Blade, do your thing. What's up, baby? My super cute Pokemon is interested in your Pokemon. Really? <laughs> oh, man, I still can't get over the fact that, you know, Hop is just like, you know, he his soul has been taken. His soul has been taken to the Shadow Realm, and he, it doesn't look like he's coming back. So, yeah, you know what? I'm happy about that. Anywho, let's go ahead and take on this Pokemon Trainer. I do believe it's a Fairy type. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Fairy types is a... Uh, I've already learned as of recently that, yeah, it, they are stronger than Dark types. So, yeah, I don't want to mess with that right there. Anywho, guys, yes, as I am recording this, we are on... I'm just going to think in the, the future chance right here, I guess. Um, it's currently my birthday. Uh, good old Draven has turned 32 years old, yes. And I just want to say thank you guys for the birthday wishes. Uh, it means a lot. 
I've been doing YouTube for about 12 years already now. Yeah, 12 years has gone by, and you know, this this right here is pretty much an outlet for me, guys. Believe it or not, I'm, I'm a very very busy guy, and uh, this right here has served as a you know I guess I, I guess you could say it's a more healthy outlet just to you know uh, de-stress, you know, let everything go because yeah, I'm, I'm constantly on the go, guys, and. You know, over the years, it's taught me that, you know, it's all about the co the quality of the, the stuff that we're doing right here. And, you know, that's why we made the change to a lot of, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of our, 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 you know, our items right here. I should I say it. Our materials, like, you know, new gaming computer, editing computer, uh, streaming, ch uh, a streaming kit and all that stuff. This this is all because you know I I want to get better at this whole thing right here and on top of that I I do I do enjoy entertaining you guys right here on YouTube and all that crud that's why you know whenever it is my birthday I make it a point to come out with a nice to come out with a nice marathon for you guys that way you know you guys celebrate with me uh, some pretty good years of my life and all that crud and um you know. Again, I'm very thankful that many of you guys are still here onto YouTube watching my channel watching my videos and all that stuff Really means a lot guys, and you know what we're gonna continue on and well look at that drippy's at level 15. It's pretty cool Alrighty, so yes, we are strong like I said guys means a lot and I'm gonna continue doing this until the brakes fall off When will that be I do not know we have some pretty interesting Pokemon we get we can find right here holy crud Which of course I will be capturing off-screen and Heliotau it's a pretty interesting normal slash electric type Pokemon. Yeah, don't want to take on that Pokemon right there right now because, well, it is an electric type Pokemon. And as you can see, some of my Pokemon right here. Let's see. You know, I'm tempted to doing this. I'm going to do it anyways just so we can get updated. But I'm going to use a large rare candy right here to my Dreepzilla. I'm going to give him two. See what 20,000 experience points. And that right there. We'll get it to level 27, so, okay, alrighty, that right there will actually level up its, uh, its attacks with my Pokemon right here, and, well, while we're at it, let's go ahead and teach it some moves right here, okay, so, right now, it can't learn anything because, well, it's not fully evolved, yeah, holy crud, we're, it, this is gonna be a mission and a half to try and teach it something, okay, so let's go from the start, pin missile, light screen, reflect, really? Uh, scary move or scary face beat up seriously will o wisp uh, facade obviously you can learn it swift anybody can learn that but I need some strong moves very very powerful moves and bulldoze is another one electro ball holy crap we don't have an electric type Pokemon huh wonder who we're gonna be switching out and here's body slam we we can actually tr teach somebody that flamethrower holy crap we have flamethrower I didn't even really realize that okay and then Wow, Dreepy can't learn anything. This is probably the reason why, holy crud, it's probably the reason why uh, it, it evolves at level 50, huh? Nah, you know what? Doesn't really matter, guys. I'm, I'm in it to win it. I'm in it to, you know, I'm committed to my Pokemon. And we have 13 Seed Bombs. Holy crud. And Power Gem, Energy Ball, Earth Power, seriously? Um, Zen Headbutt? Really? Flash Cannon, Iron Headbutt. Or Iron Head, Heavy Slam, Scald, seriously, come on. Somebody! Wild Charge, we do have an Electric type Pokemon, I just realized that. Uh, Drill Run, Heat Crash, Dazzling Gleam, Throw Chop, really? No Throw Chop? Psychic Fangs, Charm, Bullet Seed, I, I bought all of these and nothing. Holy crud! Okay, so how can these Pokemon not learn these moves if they're the typing? I don't know. Again, we're gonna have to go with typing, okay. So, uh, we're gonna have to move on, okay? We're gonna have to move on right here. Enough, uh, interference and all that stuff. But, yes, you can find some interesting Pokemon like uh, Galarian, uh, can't remember the name of this Pokemon right there, but they do evolve a special way, especially like Quackor. And I do not want to mess with these Pokemon right now. But I do want to level up my Pokemon. And actually, I want to... Hold on just a sec. I kind of want to see something here, okay? So, Dreepzilla... It's at level 27, and let's see, its biggest thing is its attack, so its defense is going to go down. Clear body, okay, so let's see, 
wow, it doesn't really have that big of a... The, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and try it out, okay? I want to see what it what it will do. That's why we got all these other Pokemon, and it's well within the levels right here. So let's go ahead and start battling these guys. And battling is important to understand Pokemon. Time for a checkup. Oh, so we got a nurse and doctor. Male nurse and doctor. Holy crud. Okay, so here we go. Medical team. And they're going to be coming out with a Togetic and a... Uh, oh, crud baskets. Oh, crud baskets. Okay, so we may have picked the wrong Pokemon. So, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight to Bex because, you know, the sunlight is harsh. And Dreepzilla doesn't look like it's going to survive very much. So, let's go with... Do, 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 do. Let's go with the uh, Blitzkrieg. The Blitzkrieg bop right here. Ooh, probably should have thought of that a little too quickly right there. So here we go, Blitzkrieg, ready to go. And here comes uh, good old Bex, still waiting on its evolution. I think it's two more levels to go. And here comes a Metal Claw. That probably would have messed with one of my Pokemon right there. And that will increase its attack. Here comes an Ancient Power. And yeah, that definitely messes with me right here. So let's go with the Super Team. Go with the Flame Charge to Ponyard. And let's go Spark. To Togetic right here. Okay, so here we go. Flame Charge for the win. That's how you do it. That's right. Look at that. Increased speed. He's fainting. I feel good. And Pokemon grow levels. And well, here comes a Spark Attack. That will defeat Togetic right there. Feeling good. Feeling out of. Uh, feeling like a billion bucks. And look at that. All my Pokemon are growing levels, including Shadow Blade at level 30. And just like that, Ewan and Ewolim, Evelyn will lose. And I don't think they can heal our Pokemon right away, right? I don't know. Let's see. Strong Pokemon. What about you? Yeah, they, they won't heal our Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and start discovering some stuff right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to skip you for just the time being. Um, you can find some rare items, and on top of that, this is an actual location where you can actually find or make a Pokemon, uh, make Pokemon out of Pokemon fossils. And would would you look at that TM30 or TM15 dig? That is going to be a useful move. And like I said, guys, this location is a oh look at that two fossilized dinos, dinos or something like that. Um, this location right here, you can actually make a Pokemon out of fossils. That is, a uh, that is something pretty big right there. And, well, we're gonna... Oh, oh, oh! Don't want to mess with that. Okay. Woo! Oh, God! Are you serious? Okay. So, Heliotile, how you doing? Here's Shadow Blade. And, uh, well, the sunlight is harsh. And here's Shadow Blade's unnerved. So, we're not going to mess with you right here. And holy bejeebus. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, that right there hits us pretty hard. I just now realized that my Pokemon are not up to level right now, which is kind of cool because, well, kind of need a challenge just a little bit. So let's go ahead and put Kiss up front. And let's go ahead and grab this. We will find ourselves a light clay. It's an item held by a Pokemon. Protective moves like light screen and reflect will be effective a little longer, which is great. And before we battle this lady, let's go ahead and start healing our Pokemon right here, okay? Yeah, off screen, I am definitely going to be uh, training my Pokemon up. I think one of the reasons why I didn't train my Pokemon was because of the evolutionary things. I kind of want to show my main Pokemon evolution, so let's go ahead and battle her. And I came for, from far away to watch the Gym Challenge. I'd love the opportunity to battle the Gym Challenger. Okay. Alrighty. Bring it on. Here we go. Backpacker Diane would like to battle. And she is coming out with her sock. And here comes Kiss. Ready to go. And I, again, picked the wrong Pokemon. Good gravy. Alright. Let's go ahead and switch out. Shadow Blade. Let's go. So yeah, guys, there is going to be quite a few changes in my team right here. I'm already thinking of a, a, a nice team member to bring in. We're just going to have to wait just a little bit longer. And hopefully, or, or hope for the best right here. And right now, Shadow Blade's not doing so well. Alright, so let's go with a Pluck Attack right here. And here comes a Bulk Up Attack. Right here is like him turning Super Saiyan. And just like that, his attack and defense has risen. So... There we go, pluck attack, 
does that, and we're gonna have to do it. We're gonna try it again, and here comes a double kick. And it's just a little bit stronger, which is which kind of sucks right there. So here we go, plug attack. There we go, and that nearly defeats a uh, sock right there. So let's go ahead and not do that. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, let's go Sodi Pop and give it to Shadow Blade. Okay, so here we are, all healed up. And I love the graphic how like you know once it's healed up. It, you know, it starts moving a little faster. Just like that, we're... Yeah, holy crud. Okay, so that was a critical hit. That was not fair, and because of that, our speed has fallen. Okay. Yeah, that is not gonna... That's not gonna stand for me right here. So let's go right ahead and go to go to Bex right now. And, uh... Bex is looking pretty good. Here comes a double kick. A supercharged double kick, and... Bam! Okay, so we're getting hit pretty hard right here. This guy will not go down quietly, so let's go with a flame charge. And we are powered up because, well, it is supercharged right there. Look at those clouds, it looks like dragons, and just like that we have defeated Sock. And Bex grows to level 35. This is pretty great right here. Dramatico Fantastico, that is great. But yes, our Pokemon are getting their butts kicked, and look at this! Evolution time! So, after a while, well, for quite some time in a few episodes, Bex finally evolves into Cinderace, its final form, and well, let's go ahead and take a look at a Cinderace. This guy is the striker Pokemon. It juggles a pebble with its feet, turning it into a burning soccer ball. It shots strike opponents hard and leave them scorched. This is the reason why I named him Bex, because well, you know, we're in England, kinda. And it's learning Pyro Ball, and uh, this move, e it is fantastic. It does look, it's exactly what they say it is. So, let's go ahead and switch it out to uh, from Flame Charge. And one, two, and three, Cinderace has learned Pyro Ball. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so, uh, first is first. Heal up my Pokemon, because, well, yeah, I'm a good trainer like that. I really am. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't have a lot of healing items. Kind of forgot about that. And, well, let's go straight ahead and figure out everything else in between right here. Hmm. Actually, let's see. I think you can go on that side, right? Probably. Okay. So before I do anything, let's go into... Damn it. Okay. We should go right here. And... Let's go right ahead and find... Or just discover more items right here. Not get attacked by any of these Pokemon because, well, you know, we've already uh, learned that these guys are a little stronger than usual. And, yes, we haven't battled her, so bring it on. A model who's also strong in a battle is, uh, who, that's who I am. Okay, that's cool. So, we're taking on a model. A pretty cool model right here. Okay. Alright, so, model Nicola wants the battle, and she's coming out with a Skoropi. Or Skoropi. Skoropi, Skoropi, Skoropi. I can't even pronounce these things. Again, sorry guys if I'm butchering any names, but, you know, that's kind of how I am. And so, let's go straight for a takedown attack right here. And boom, hits him pretty hard. We get a little bit of a recoil, but here comes a bug bite. And that is super effective against us. Kind of lame. So let's go straight for a night slash. And this will mess with Skaroopy. So it's become apparent to me that I actually need to start training my Pokemon just a little bit more. And, well, she is going to be coming out with a Ponyard. So let's go right ahead and use Crap Baskets. No, let's use Bex right here. And it's Pyro Ball. I want to see what it does. I want to see something for science. So here he is. Bex, Cinderace, ready to go. And there's Ponyard, level 30. Let's go Pyro Ball. Been wanting to use this for quite some time. Look at that, juggles it. Look at that, there's a sucker moving in. Go! Holy crud, just like that. Okay, all right. Look at that, okay. And, well, Nicola has been defeated. And even if I lose who I am, the charm of the Pokemon will never fade, okay. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, so that is that right there. That leads to that right there. So what we need to do, Let's go down the stairs, because there, there's probably another item right here for us, and, well, let's see. Hmm. We could jump from there, 
And there's another trainer, but there is a tree right here that we can actually shake off. And that's one. And let's go right ahead and switch for two. There we go. And one more time. Three. Okay, so I usually do three shakes. Just because, you know, uh, to me that's kind of like, you know, to me that's kind of like the, 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 the limit right there. I, I, I did watch a video where, you know, it actually shows you that you can actually do more than three times and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Dreamzilla right here and see what it can do. Alright, bring it on. Are you making curry? Are you filling your curry decks? Probably. I don't know. So here we are taking on Backpacker Ruth, and she's going to be coming out with a throw. So if my Pokemon is a Ghost and Dragon, will it get hit? Let's find out. So Dreepsilla looking pretty fantastic. Let's go straight for... Good gravy, none of these attacks will work. Let's go for the uh, an Astonish attack right here. Astonish, and that right there will make it flinch. So that's so that's how that feels. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with a quick attack. And bam, quick attack. It is fast in revenge. And it doesn't affect Creepzilla, so or Dreepzilla. So yeah, we're gonna be switching out our Pokemon right here because uh yeah. We need a, a little bit more firepower. There's a pretty damn good reason to why Dreepzilla doesn't, you know. Well well we don't get Dreepzilla until like level 60. I kind of I kind of did this on my own, and here comes Storm Throw, and that right there will hit us pretty hard, but it's a it's a critical hit. So let's go straight for a Pluck Attack, and while this is happening, I'm gonna get my charger right here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I was just getting my phone charger right here, guys. Sorry, uh, didn't see that my phone uh, kind of fainted itself. So there you go, Pluck uh, Pluck Attack does the trick, and well. Just like that, we get more experience points. Shadow Blade grows level 31, and uh, Dreepzilla level 28, which is great. And Ruth is not too happy right there. Well, she kind of is. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. Um, we're gonna go right here and not get attacked by dang it a Pokemon. Um, okay, so what is down there? Oh, look at that. What are the odds? We found ourselves a TM30 Steel Wing. Which, yes, can actually help out my uh, my Shadow Blade a little, because well, it it probably it probably will learn Shadow Blade or you know Steel Wing once it evolves and all that stuff. So go on, Dreamzilla, you know what you can do. And uh, the sunlight is harsh, but I am not going to battle this guy. And yes, we get out of there safely. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. La boot, as the Canadians would say. And we're gonna grab this. We found ourselves a rare candy, and you can actually fish right here. Uh, trainer tips: you can actually use a technical machine or TM as many times as you like on your Pokemon. Teach your Pokemon various types of uh, moves of their of various types to give them an advantage against all kinds of different opponents in battle. TRs can only be used more once before they break. However, be more thoughtful when you choosing the uh, to use them, which is kind of lame because well. Again, TRs are the more powerful moves, and, uh, well, look at that, a Silly Cobra. Hmm. A Silly, co silly Cobra. Is it silly enough for me? I don't even know. Okay, so uh, that right there, we're gonna escape, and good god, okay, so, huh, we got attacked by a Doug Trio, and more than likely, we might not be uh, escaping this one right here, because they are fast. So, let's see, run. And yes, okay, so we ran away. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go right here, and let's get the heck out of here. Look at that. You're going to be finding some pretty interesting Pokemon, and I do believe this is the reason why my Pokemon are, like, so underleveled right now, in my opinion. Okay, so let's see. We still need to check out the Fossil Lady. Need to check that out, because we did grab a few fossils. I think we have more than enough. I don't know. So let's see. Okay, not good gravy. Okay, so here we have a Galarian Yamask. And uh, yes, I am not going to face it right now because, well, yes, uh, it's, well, it's not too powerful. It's just, you know, I don't want to. Uh, let's see. Let's get the heck out of here. And, well, once we hit these stairs, 
let's go right ahead and see what this uh, fossil lady is all about. Now, it depends on how many fossils total you have, and trust me, guys, there there are many fossils to go around here in the Gala region. Um, I'm pretty sure the digger guys can actually help us out too, but it's every so often you can find those things. So if you talk to this lady right here, the name is Kara Liss. I am uh, researching fossils, huh? Fossils in Galar are broken up into top halves and bottom halves for some reason, huh? Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Perhaps within this mystery lies the key to understanding these combinable Pokemon. And right now, I don't have enough fossils, so we're just going to have to wait on that. So, okay. Well, never mind. Uh, I tried. Okay, so we're going to be moving on ahead right here, guys. And... Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and put on a fossil right here. And let's see. Or not a fossil, but a... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, wait, holy crud. I have 119 Dynamax candies? Ha! Huh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I've been grinding, guys, uh, with the Dynamax Pokemon and all that stuff. And yes, I don't want to get attacked by these Pokemon, but I, I, I just wore a fossil. Or not a fossil repel. Why am I thinking fossils? I don't know. Okay, so let's move on forward. There's a lady who wants to battle us. Let's go right ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. Let's go with Michelangelo. It hasn't battled. It hasn't gotten any screen time, so let's see what she's all about. Or he! Holy crud! Pokemon is art too, if we both give it our all. Okay, alright. So here it is, the mad scientist or mad artist himself, Duncan, wants the battle, and he looks crazy as hell, so he's coming out with a coffin right here. And here we have Michelangelo ready to go, and neutralizing gas. So if we use any water type moves, it's not going to be as effective, but, you know, Michelangelo is a pretty strong Pokemon, so let's go straight for a Rock Tomb attack, and that actually gives us a little bit more of an advantage because of the speed. Here comes the Haze attack. And, again, status changes are, have been eliminated. So let's go, again, another Rock Tomb attack. And, again, speed has gone down. And the, here comes a self-destruct attack, but it is not going to hit me as hard. Because, well, look at that. <laughs> he only had, like, one HP left. So, there we go. The gas is worn off. And we get some experience points from all. And, well, here comes a pseudo wudo. I am going to keep it up right here. And pseudo wudo, the fossilized tree Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for a waterfall and see if it actually makes this Pokemon faint somehow. Alrighty. And, well, it should have made this Pokemon faint because of this sun, the sunlight right here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a task. But look at that, our defense prevails, and let's go right ahead for another waterfall attack here. And that one hits it pretty hard, and we're gaining some HP just because of the Shell Bell. And let's go ahead again with the waterfall. And there we go. Okay, so there goes uh, Pseudo Wudo, and more HP for us. Yes, you gotta love the HP, and... Well, we have defeated the artist, and wow, he's finally not crazy. <laughs> okay, so let us move on right here. And no more of the repels. I think we've uh, gotten enough of that. But look at this. Doug Trio, or Diglets. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's something. And, well, here we are, guys. Finally in Stow Inside. And this looks like a pretty dusty place. Look at that. And, well, there's Hop right there. I really, really don't want to talk to him, but yeah. Okay, so we finally got the stow inside, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be taking a small tour, doing the whole thing, and then, uh, I don't know, probably going into an, a gym battle here and there. So thank you guys again for watching. Stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be mopping the floor with uh, Hop again because, you know, he thinks he's the ultimate trainer and all that stuff. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.